what a privilege and an honor we have to be talking to the Grand Marshal of the Gallenberg Fourth of July Parade, and it's someone that I grew up with, laying in the living room floor, laying on my elbows, watching the TV, and it was Catherine Bach, Catherine Bach, Daisy Duke. Welcome to Gallenberg. Well, thank you, Taz. Thank you very much. How does it feel to be in Gallenberg? I just love it because you know I'm from South Dakota. I'm from from old from an old mountain range that's Black Hills, and um, so I feel right at home here in the Appalachia. Do you know how to say it? That's how you say it. You know, I'm. Do you know that? I, I do know that, but but listen, I'm don't I don't pronounce things very well, and they know that. That's why we don't have cue cards or notes because it messes me up. So now you know that about me. I just have to wing it sometimes. So tell me. Um, how, long, how, how many times a year do you come here? Because I know you have a relationship. I have never. I have a. I thought you came here before. No, no. I, well, I was in Gatlinburg once before just to come and check out the store that, that Ben and Alma had, the Cooter's Place, which was on the other side of town. Right. And now they have it right outside here across the street from the aquarium. And it's amazing. And I was asked by the, the city fathers here, George, yes. to come in and be the Grand Marshal for the 4th of July Parade. And he told me he was welcoming all the a lot of the Airborne Squadron back from Afghanistan and that we had a, a lot of Marines. And my father was... Um, in the Army and then in the Air Force when it switched in 1947 to the Air Force, they split it. And so I am just so proud to be here. You know, I, I've done USO tours all over the world and to be a part of a 4th of July celebration in the mountains, in the Appalachia, where are incredibly beautiful and Cades Cove and all of that. I just, I'm having the best time. I'm learning how to play the, the split. Just shut me up whenever you want. No, I don't want to shut you up. No, because I want to know. <laughs> You've been here such for a good time. And I'm you... playing the, the spoons, the musical spoons. And, and I, you, who, who, who taught you that? This really nice lady. I can't remember her name, but and she was playing the other night. And I just, I play castanets. I play a little, I play a little piano. And the musical spoons look like something that maybe I could get a hold of, and I loved it. I'm just I'm having a great time. So you've been here for a while. You, you, yeah, you didn't just come about five days. And awesome. I know. I love it. And the aquarium here is amazing. It is beautiful. I can't believe what I'm seeing, and I can't believe the sharks swim around with all those little fish, and they don't eat them. <laughs> so um, it looks like it would be very tempting. And the it? penguins have such a great personality. The penguins are so cute. You just have to come and see the penguins. Spend a, spend a couple days here just at the aquarium and then go over to Cooters and do a little go-karting. And miniature golf. I've been playing miniature golf and working on my golf game, my little, my short game and my golf. So Have you been, you, you've been to Cades Cove? Have you experienced Cades Cove? Yes. Yes, I did. And I had Ranger Mike show me all the different animals and tell me what to do if I saw a bear and go the other way. But of course, the minute I saw a bear, we ran to the bear because there were other people <laughs> running too. And we saw a bear and, and mama bear, papa bear and three little baby bears and beautiful water, clean, everything's so clean and pristine here. It's such, everybody's doing such a good job taking care of the mountains here. So, Well, you sound like you could be not only the Grand Marshal for the parade, but a spokesperson for the Smoky Mountain area. Oh, really? You're doing a real good job at it. It's good to see you come out and have a good time here, um, you know, because a lot of people come to the area and they don't take advantage of it. And, it's, and you're coming, and the situation that you're coming in, you're definitely taking advantage of it, and you're having a good time. I'm having a great time. Next time I hope to... Um, to be able to play some musical, pull out my musical spoons. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be fun? Maybe they'll make you a feature in the Smoky Mountain oh, Tunes and Tales. My gosh, yeah, I'll go tell some stories. <laughs> Have it, tell me, um, you, are you still? What are you doing? Are you still working? What do you got? What are you up to well, these days? Well, I have a denim line, which is it's a little bit hard to get off the ground because go to KatherineBach.com and you'll see part of it. You won't see the new collection, but you'll see what I've been selling. And it started as a um, grassroots thing, but. I wanted to bring work back to America. This started about five years ago, and I make everything. The de even the denim comes from North Carolina, from a factory. So everything's all American, American-made. I know everybody that makes it, and unfortunately, that makes it a little more expensive. But I'm trying to create jobs, and um, this is my way of doing it. Fashion always has a message. It does always. And have a so message. and so, this is my um, what I'm doing, and and I'll see. You know, I'm in boutiques now, and we'll see if I get a big national sponsor. Maybe you, but, so. we're looking for those too, by the way. But so if you find one, send one out. Someone did Spunky Mountain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Spunky, well, it's smoky, ma no. smoky Mountain. Said spunky Spunky Mountain. Spunky. Well, it is kind of spunky we'll right here. Sassy. After, that'll be after dark. Spunky Mountain. <laughs> it'll be after our after dark show. So uh, tell me, um, uh, you know, they have the. Uh, I want to tell you this before you get shifted off with other people. They do have National Denim Day and it's a Cancer Awareness Day. Oh, I have to be it's here. A, it's a charity. You know, it's nationwide. You need to get involved in that. And it's denimday.com, I think. Okay. So um, how much longer are you in town? 
Don't you want to hear what else I'm involved in? Oh, I didn't know you were done. No, I'm not done. Tell me. Okay, there's another thing I'm involved in because uh, medicine is so crazy today and yeah. insurance and do you have insurance? Don't you? Is it cover? Uh, is it going to cover what you're going to do? There is a great website that my girlfriend started okay. called Empower Her. It's E M P H E R E M P O W H E R dot com. And it's really interesting because if you have a problem and you can't get it figured out, a uh, medical problem, you can go there and they promise within 24 hours to get a doctor to respond to your questions and teach you how to advocate for yourself. Good for you. Here's George. And George is all, you, you can always and find then George. Next, and we'll continue this interview in part one, two, and three. <laughs> yeah, right? But, and so is that, I mean, you're, that's some really good accomplishments no, you have uh, going on. No, I'm really proud of that. And it's just something that I'm doing. It's sort of like my, um, it's my, what I do to input for, um, to help people. To give back. Yeah, to give back. To give back. But giving back is very important. And I think that's something that we've forgotten is to give back. I think we Not just we. can't wait. Well, no, I think we, we just, uh, no, we, we can't watch the, we, we have to show the, the, the big guys on Wall Street and certain other people how to behave. There you go. You said that much better than me. You could do politics. I couldn't. No, I'm not doing politics. I, I guess, but, uh, George is. George, George, how has it been to have Catherine with you for the last few days? I've had a ball. I've just had a ball. We, That's exactly what she was saying. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> We've Buckhorn. had a good time. We went to Buckhorn Inn. Oh, and she my learned gosh. how to play the spoons, uh, and her daughter learned how to play the... What what daughters are beautiful. Banjo. Yeah, yeah. Is that a cool banjo or a bass foot? Uh, bass, I don't know bass. what it is. It's... It's a wash tub base. Base. It's a string hooked yeah. onto a, a steel tub. I, I, it sounds complicated already. Play it sounds it. like I've got to have rhythm, and I don't have much rhythm. I can dance. I can't play it. Well, we, we want you to come back to the Smokies, and we hope that you do. Thank you so much. So I'm going to give you a break now, and I'm going to take over and tell everybody about what's going on tonight. Oh, good. Okay. And we'll see you on the float. Yes. Say, look right there and say, hey, you're watching Smoky Mountain Morning. Hey, you're watching Smoky Mountain Morning. It's not Spunky Mountain either. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very nice. She's calling it Spunky Mountain. Spunky. Well, it is spunky. <laughs> he said it's spunky around here. So, how do you like the Spunky Mountains? And I said, I love it here. There's spunky too. Can you hook up with Kevin? Hook up with Catherine. She's trying to eat and we interrupted her. Catherine, thank you very much. We'll see you on the parade route. I know she's good.